It's the final countdown. Do -do -do -do. Mario gets a one instead of Yoshi. Mixing things up a little bit. Luigi didn't use the warp pipe for some stupid reason. That doesn't make a lot of sense. And I just realized that I have a 69 in my coinage. Oh, whatever. One, two, three, four, five. Gotta send a bunch of crazy songs at the end of the game, I guess. And wow, that was a very uneventful final turn for everyone. Okay. The final mini game. It is. Oh, it's over for slime ten. It's always a fun one. Toad's quick draw. Uh, oh, I thought this was a different one. No, when Toad raises the flag, you have to find the balloon that's the same color and shoot it. Move the. Uh, I thought it said move the croissant for a second. I was like, move the croissant. Uh -huh. And fire. Be funny if we had it. Maybe the French version of Smash Ultimate has the croissant gun instead of the banana gun. It's like how the Australian version of Rockowin has kangaroos instead of Leebles or something like that. <laughs> no, not really. This is a very funny inside joke with the Rockowin community. Speaking of Rockowin, if you haven't seen the stinking animated short series of Rockowin that just got released recently, you should definitely sing and do that because my singing god is so happy that that's being made and that Rockowin's getting more and more attention. Also, Rockowin merchandise just got released on Fangamer. And I think that's a very fitting game to be associated with Fangamer, so... Very happy for it. And just like all the single work that went into it. I hope Rockwind just gets bigger and bigger and it's so sick and awesome. For the millionth time, if you're not sick of me he not sick of hearing me say it by now, play Rockwin. Or else Daisy will pop your balloons. And that's the end of the game. Well done! Here are the results! First, let's check the number of stars! Here's everyone's number of stars! Next, let's check the number of coins! And here comes the bonus stars! Players receive a star for each bonus they win! First, the minigame star! This goes to the person who got the most coins in minigames! This time, the minigame star goes to... Daisy! Next is the coin star! This is for the person who got the most coins in the game! So this time the coin star is... Daisy! And finally the happening star! This goes to the player who hit the most happening spaces! This time the happening star goes to... Daisy! And here come the final results! And the winner is Daisy! I never would have guessed! Daisy is the party star. Yeah, no more superstar business. Now we got a party star. Much cooler sounding name. Got four stinking stars and 185 coins. Very, very easy victory. Uh, detailed results. We got a boatload of coins at the end. Wow, I had the minigame star by a landslide. A uh, lot of single coins, uh, Mario on the most blue spaces, I like how they highlight the color so you can tell like who won each category. Uh, Yoshi's the only one who didn't get a red space, got the most happening spaces very easily. Uh, two chance times this time around, no Bowser, very nice. Uh, two battle games, uh, five single items for Luigi, and are you didn't get a single item, jeez. And then uh, a couple springboards, so yeah, very eventful board, very fun, very easy going for the most part. So that's a very easy way, very nice way to start off this LP, I, if I do say so myself. But now that we finished things up, let's go ahead and get our present from Toad. Yeah. Congratulations, Daisy! So here's the present I promised you! But to get it! Beat me 
get a mini game. Okay. Da, 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 boss fight in a Mario Party game. This is what replaces dual mini games. We have special duels at the end of every board against the show hosts. Now we must battle by Bowser Bop. Would you like to hear the rules? In this game, you must bop out all of the Bowsers that pop out. Use A to bop with a hammer. Each Koopa Kid is one point, and Bowser is two points. If you can get more points than I can in 60 seconds, then you are the winner. Now let's start. Oh, that voice is making me lightheaded. I'm glad I don't have to do it for the entire LP. I'm not as talented as I used to be. Go ahead and hit Koba Kid if I can. Thank you. You could get two in a row if you just uh, angle it properly. That one. I'm so happy that he's called Koba Kid now instead of Baby Bowser. He's such a dumb name. And yes, in case you're wondering, when I first played Mario Party 5, I thought it said Koba Kid instead of Koopa Kid. It's weird because like I called Koopa Koopa no problem. I call it Koopa Bank and Koopa Troop and all that stuff. But for just Koba Kid, I thought it said Koba Kid instead of Koopa Kid. So. I'm stuck calling him Koba for the rest of eternity, so if that makes you upset, too stinking bad, because that's, I'm staying with it. And I would absolutely love to see Koba Kid as an Echo Fighter in Smash Ultimate. I don't think it's going to happen, but it would be so stinking cool if it did. Uh, it would be so stinking cool. I really want that. Okay, Bowser! Two Bowsers. Very nice. And yeah, I got 20 points, I got 10, so very easy victory it seems. But I don't know, Toad could come around and get like a super uh, quick comeback or something like that. Let's see what's gonna happen. No. We got 24! Congratulations, Daisy! And without further delay! Here's your present! Wow! You got Daisy's bed! It's so tiny, how do you expect us to sleep in it? Uh -huh. oh! The bed ascends into heaven, and then it descends into the present room. Yes, you get presents from all the- Wow, it actually spoils other items that you get for characters. That's kind of unfortunate. I was expecting- I thought the presents reset or something after you, like, got them once. Like, I know that- they're in the present room, but like I thought the animation reset to like a neutral space so that you didn't get spoiled on all the presents. So sorry to spoil the presents for everyone, but yeah, I hope that not too many of you are upset that I'm spoiling the story of Mario Party. Oh well, let's keep going. And that is Toad's Midway Madness. We have finished the first board in Daisy Party. Next time on Daisy Party, you can actually go ahead and play the boards again if you want to. I don't know why you'd want to, but no, we're not going to do that. Next time on Daisy Party, we are going to be going into Shy Guy's Jungle Jam. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night. You're still here. It's over. Go home. Uh, fine. I suppose if you still want something else to watch, I do have one extra trick up my sleeve. Let's play Super Mario Land. Good morning everybody, it's Midnight and Beyond. Welcome to my Let's Play of Super Mario Land for the Game Boy. Why am I playing this? So, the reason I wanted to do this is because Mario Party 4 is focusing on Princess Daisy. And I thought it would be kind of a cool little thing to have this as a tie-in sort of thing, tie like a little side series. To have uh, the game that debuted Princess Daisy play alongside Mario Party 4. However, I didn't originally plan to have it be counted as the same LP. I, as you can see, we're gonna have like little segments of Mario Land sprinkled throughout Mario Party 4, kind of like when I let's play Super Mario World, I had Mario Bros segments at the end of every episode. So it's sort of being done like that, but I know that this game is a lot, like it's a lot more far-fetched to combine these two games together. I originally wasn't planning on doing that. For those of you who saw my six year anniversary video, 
I said that I plan on retiring after I complete 120 Let's Plays, so therefore I need to be very precise and specific with the amount of games I plan on LPing. So I can't necessarily play any game in every game that I want, and I wanted to find a way to make the number uh, not go up as often. And the way I found to do that is by making LPs be sort of combined in a way. I was originally going to uh, combine my Cave Story Let's Play with my Ikachan Let's Play, and I would have Ikachan just be like a bonus video to Cave Story. However, because I was super impressed for time in year 6 and I tried to get as many LPs out as possible uh, beforehand, I wound up uh, not making that so. I made them two separate LPs just because I was trying to reach it before the deadline, which didn't end up happening anyway, so hooray, nothing matters in the end. But with Super Mario Land, I was I was planning on having these two be released at the same time, but counted two separate LPs because they're not exactly the exact same game. But since Cave Story and Ikachan got uh, separated into separate LPs, I decided to uh, then turn this one into the hybrid LP that I had originally thought of. If that makes any sense to you, I doubt nobody cares. Uh, I, or I say, I guess, I guess I doubt anybody cares. And I'm the only one who even understands what the heck I just said, but that's how I go about doing these things, and that's how we're going to be doing this LP. But now that that's finally taken care of, I could go ahead and actually talk about the game. We're done. <laughs> Bonus game! Let's see if we can do this. We need to get... Uh, I don't even know what I want. I guess I'll get the three lives and uh, push me back up to the fire flower. So the flower or the ladder always messes you up in that regard, but I have the power of save states on my side, so we don't have to worry about it too much. I have no idea how this is going to be split up in the actual videos. Uh, Super Mario- 69 coins, by the way! Uh, Super Mario Land has a total of 12 levels. I don't know how many episodes the LP is going to be. I've only edited the first board so far. It's actually being recorded like the day before the first episode goes up, so... Uh, I guess I have no idea how it's going to get separated and all that jazz, but... It's going to be done in some capacity, so I guess we'll just deal with it as it becomes apparent and what not. So, we're just gonna have, have a good old jolly time. So it's not like the original Mario Bros where each world had four levels. Instead, there's only four worlds and they only have three levels. But it makes up for it in spades. If you've never played Super Mario Land and you thought it was just like a Game Boy port of Mario Bros, you may be right. No, um, it is so much more than that. Like, I know, like, the core mechanic of it is basically the same, but the game has, like, so much going for it in terms of just, of creativity. It has, like, all these little extra backgrounds. As you see, Mario travels throughout different parts of the world, and they each have, like, their own uh, theme, which is really cool. But the main place where this game shines is the music. The music in... Are you serious? The music in Super Mario Land is stinking phenomenal. It is absolutely legendary. I don't know a single person who like doesn't love the stinking soundtrack. It is amazing and it is a, a very good reason as why you should play this game if you have not already. All the Mario Land games are available on the 3DS eShop, so uh, you really have no excuse not to play them. They're easily accessible to everyone. Uh, but yeah, as you've already probably seen without uh, me explaining them, the enemies are also really interesting and diverse. So first we've got that mushroom. We're gonna go ahead and increase our... I am... This is why I do not Let's Play 2D Mario games. This is actually probably gonna be the last 2D Mario game you see on my channel, so... At least we're going out with a Bane, I guess. Uh, let's just get up here. But yeah, some of the enemies are more or less the same, like the Goombas were the same, just stomp them, they're gone. The Koopas, however, I don't know if they have any different names in this game, but if you stomp on them they turn into bombs and they explode afterwards, you have to get away from it. Uh, we got that heart, which is acts as a 1-up mushroom, and the mushrooms, as we know, they just make increase our size, we could take an extra hit. It's the same as Mario Bros. rules, even if we had a flower ability, then we get reduced back to Mini Mario uh, afterwards um, from just one hit, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, just go up here, and wow, that's kind of unfortunate. Uh, let's not talk about being unfortunate over and over, and uh, that's lame. I believe every exit has the, uh, every end of the game has two goals. If you get the bottom one, you don't get the bonus game. If you get the top one, you do get the bonus game. Which means I don't get a bonus game. Hooray.